Hi, my name is Andy Colbert and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Hello, and thank you for watching the Riedel Director how-to video series. In this video, we are going to cover the function beep panel. Getting another user's attention on intercom can be difficult when there is a lot of communication happening. If you need to notify a user, you can send a beep notification to get their attention or send them a notification to call you. Sending a beep panel command is simple. In this example, our audio engineer, Jonathan, needs to get the attention of our A2, Ryan. You select a key which you want to enable the function, right click, and select beep panel. This pulls up the properties of the key and will select the destination to Ryan's panel and click OK. It will now beep Ryan's Bolero panel when pressed. The beep panel function is most effective when stacking other key functions on top of it. If the user on the other end hears the beep but does not know where it's coming from, you can alert them by combining a beep panel function and a remote key function. We are going to use the remote key to change the key text that Ryan uses to contact Jonathan, which we can see is key 3. On the same key we assign the beep panel function to, we'll right click and add remote key. Select the destination as Ryan's panel. Select the remote key to call to port function, which we recall is key three. We do not want to press the key or lock the key, but change the key text to call me. This will change the key text of that key, so Ryan knows to call Jonathan. Click OK to save your changes. You can see now that the key text is remote. We'll want to rename the key so we have a better understanding of what this key is doing. We'll double click on the key to open up the properties and change the key label to beep Ryan as this falls into our eight character label. In this situation, we'll also use a latching timeout as we only want the beep to last for a fixed amount of time. In the key mode, we'll select latching and change the latching timeout to five seconds. Now when Jonathan presses beep Ryan key, it will beep on Ryan's bell pack for five seconds and the key will say, call me so Ryan is alerted to contact Jonathan when he is able. If you want to see other examples of remote keys, please watch the GPIO video or the remote key videos. There are many different ways to utilize the beep panel function in your system. Please share your workflow and remember to subscribe to see new content in the future.